Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create column with base plate in Tecla structures with given example like this. Now this PDF example is available in my website. Please go to my website. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here and scroll it down. You can see now we have PDF example at here. Practice this example along with this video. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with Indian environment. We were going to create column with base plate. Now go to create views. So click on grid, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines. Now type here elevation, elevation on grid. Use the shortcut control A for select all and use the shortcut control C for copy and drag and delete this and use the shortcut control V for paste it. Now click on create and click on OK and click on OK. Okay, now open our example. In our example, we have a column with the length 4000. So now we're going to create column with the length 4000 and the profile is ISMB 350. So select this column and click on here to place the column at gradient section point right click on mouse interrupt by default we have a column like this now double click on this column to edit the profile you can see by default we have profile ismb 400 but in our example we have ismb 350 so click on here let's take ismb 350 then click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result here you can see now this column profile should be ismb 350 now coming to height now have bottom level 0 and top level 4000 so scroll it down and select bottom level 0 and let's take top level 4000 now click on modify now you'll get like this now close this window click on space right click on mouse redraw view okay now i'm going to create this example here uh, before that we need to rotate this one go to the plan view so use the shortcut control i for view list and select this plan and click on here arrow to open plan at zero you can see click on window and select this one plan at zero by default we have column rotation like this but in our example we have horizontal rotation so double click on this column now under rotation option you need to type here 90 degrees then click on modify you'll get like this now close this window click on window and select this 3d view click on space right click on mouse redraw view okay currently we have transparent to get render view use the shortcut control 4 for render view like this now in our example we have base plate like this now we're going to create base plate at this location at the bottom of this column so go to application and components by using the shortcut control f otherwise you can click on here to open now type here 1042 then you will get this base plate component 1042 select this component and pick the main part as a column and pick the position at gradient section point to create base plate now close this window here right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse redraw view you can see now i have base plate like this Currently, we have transparent base plate to get render view. Use the shortcut Shift to 4 for components and Control 4 for objects. Okay, now I'm going to edit this base plate. So, double click on it. You need to double click on this base plate to open this window like this. Now, in our example, in our example, we have base plate with a anchor rod with a spacing here widthwise and lengthwise and anchor rod total length and projection and thickness and everything so click on this part step in parts you, you can control the base plate thickness here you can see in our example we have the base plate thickness 16 thickness so you need to enter here 16 now click on modify you can see you will get the result here click on modify you can see now this base plate thickness should be 16 mm now go to anchor rod tab in anchor rod you can control this anchor rod size 
you can see anchor rod size and length and number of anchors so click on here click on this circular section and we need to select rod and we need to enter here rod size anchor rod size let's take 20 mm then click on apply ok you can see now we have anchor rod size 20 dia so you need to type here rod 20 now click on modify to see the result here now anchor rod size should be 20 dia but it's not appearing here to display anchor rod at this location in the model you need to select this option base plate width anchor rod then click on modify you can see now this anchor rod dia should be 20 mm now going to create nut washer profiles here before going to create nut washer you need to select here click on here and select the s and you need to click on here and click on s to display the nut and washer profiles in the model then click on modify you can see now we have nut and washer profiles like this now now we're going to select this nut profile from this option so click on here scroll it down and select this user defined fixer click on this plus symbol now we need to select this plus symbol nut profile so now we need to select the nut profile this one nut m20 now click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result you can see now we have nut like this this is the default washer profile now now going to change the anchor rod profile you can see in our example we have l band profile but currently we have a straight profile so we need to change this one from this option click on here and select this l band profile then click on modify you will get anchors like this now you can see now total length of this anchor rod should be 450 so you need to enter here 450 now click on modify to see the result you can see now anchor rod length 450 now coming to here the projection from top of base plate to top of this anchor should be 75 so from top of base plate to top of anchor rod so you need to enter here 75 then click on modify you can see now we have projection 75 now coming to the thread length we need to enter here 125 according to standards then click on modify now you can see now we have the thread length 125 like this from this option you can see now coming to this anchor rod number of anchor rods in lengthwise and widthwise you can control from this bolt step so click on this bolt step in bolts now we're going to select the bolt size 20 and tolerance the clearance between the anchor rod and the hole we need to enter here 4 according to standards then click on modify now coming to this bolt size you can see now these two options should be at the middle uh, to place this base plate at the middle of this column now coming to in the lengthwise edge distance from bolt to edge of this plate from this option we have 75 so we need to enter here 75 and in the lengthwise we have number of columns 1 2 3 bolts so we need to enter here 3 and the spacing from between this bolt to this bolt we have 125 and here also 125 so we need to enter here 125 and give space on 125 now click on modify you'll get like this uh, from this option now we have this edge distance from bolt to the edge of this plate should be 75 and uh, now spacing between these two bolts should be 125 and number of bolts 3 in this number of bolts column 3 like this ok now coming to widthwise you can control the widthwise uh, bolts also from this option for example you can see now have the spacing in the widthwise edge distance is a 50 so we need to enter here 50 and here also 50 now click on modify you can see now have edge distance 50 now coming to bolt to bolt spacing we need to enter here 100 and the number of columns in the widthwise direction we have 1 and 2 so we need to enter here 2 and the spacing between these bolts should be 100 from the design now click on modify to see the result you can see you will get like this now click on modify apply ok click on space right click on mouse redraw view now use the shortcut control r for rotation pick the rotation point click on here and you can rotate like this by using the left mouse key right click on mouse interrupt if you want to rotate now use the shortcut control and mouse middle button to rotate like this okay now we have column with the base plate now we're going to check the dimensions 
uh, in the model according to this design information so go to the elevation along grid 1 this is the one grid so click on window and select this view list here you can use the shortcut control i also now select this elevation on grid 1 and click on here and close it now go to check the dimension total length of this column you can see from bottom of this base plate to top of this column should be 4000 so edit go to edit and click on here measure and select the vertical distance and pick the first point at the bottom of this base plate you need to pick the bottom of this base plate so select this vertical distance and pick zoom it and pick it here and pick the second point at the top of this column and click on here to place the dimension you can see now we have 4000 from this option okay we already know this column size is the ismb 350 now scroll it down here now coming to in this position now we're going to check the total length of the anchor so coming here and pick the first point at here and pick the second point at the top so click on here to place the dimension now you can see now I have 450 now coming to thickness base plate thickness you can control from here and place it here 16 thick and the projection from top of base plate to top of this anchor and place it here now have 75 from this option now coming to this spacing go to the top view so click on this window and select this view list and we already have plan view in the active window so select this plan at zero and zoom it here click on space right click on mouse reader view to remove the welding symbols and now I'm going to check the dimensions here so click on measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point and pick the second point here and place it here now we have dimension 75 and now we're going to ch check the remaining dimension so pick the first point and second point and place it here similarly we're going to take remaining dimensions like this now now we're going to check these dimensions 75 125 125 and 75 now coming to in the width wise now select the measurement and select this vertical distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point at the middle of this circle and place it here and uh, similarly we're going to take space in between the bolts and uh, from bolt to edge of this plate like this click on escape now we have 50 150 you can see 50 150 okay like that you can create column with base plate in the model like this in tecla structures to remove this checking dimensions click on space right click on mouse read review similarly you can remove dimensions in the elevation view also click on space right click on mouse read review now click on window and select this 3d view you can see you will get like this from this design information okay okay that's it about how to create column with base plate from this example in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gany sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you